Guys? Hello, guys? Are you there? Hello? Hello? Oh! There you guys are. Okay. I have a little explaining to do. I know that I've been saying that I'm trying to be good, and I am for the most part, but I have a couple of unboxings here, and they're not handbags, so there you go. So, I actually, technically, this doesn't count, so I can't wait to show you what I got. One of the items is from YSL, and I've been lusting after this item for about a year, and I finally broke down the box. And then, this is a Walmart haul, and if you wanna see what I got, stick around. Alright, before we get started, I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who watched our Halloween collaboration. If you haven't watched it, it was epic. So it was Autumn, Winnie B. L. V. and Styled by Gwenny, and the four of us collaborated and we transformed by the spirit of spooky Halloween magic into each other. And I think Autumn did a fantastic job portraying me, and I'm telling you guys, we got so many positive comments, and people just loved it, so you guys, there will be a sequel. <laughs> I can guarantee you that, but it was just such a fun thing to do, and I just want to say thank you guys for your support, and I'm so happy that we could make you laugh, especially during these crazy times we're having, and I think the more that we can laugh, the better, and you know, if you can't laugh, just get you some nitrous oxide, and then you will laugh. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead. I probably need to adjust my camera because I feel like it's tilted down too much. Let's go ahead and show you my bag of the week. So I've been carrying this bag all week. It's been a bit rainy. This is the perfect rainy day bag. I've got it filled pretty good, and I've been carrying this around all week. I'll change it out tomorrow. I love my never full in the Demier e bean. It's one of my favorite bags. I say that about all of them, but hey, what can I say? I do love the never full. The first thing that I'm going to get into, uh, it's, since it's on the top, I'm just going to go for the YSL. This is my very first purchase from Net a Porte. It came so fast, like I ordered it, and I literally had it within maybe three days super fast. I definitely will order from them again. And this is an item from YSL and I have been wanting it since the very first day that I saw it, but there was one thing preventing me from getting it. And when I open it up, I'll tell you what it is. So let's go ahead and open it up. I am, this box was open when Keith brought it home because lately he's been looking in my packages. I mean, really? He never said anything. I don't even know if he knows what's in here, but he did open my package. Okay, look at this. Look how beautiful. Net a porte. It says it right here. Beautiful ribbon. Here's all the goodies that you get with it. And they have the box lined. So I was very impressed. You know, I've always seen other YouTubers order things from Net a porte, but when I saw this item, it was, I would say it was about one o'clock in the morning and I was lying in bed <laughs> surfing the net and that's when usually the spirit strikes and that's when I, that really is, it just comes all over me and then I wake up in the morning and I think, did I just buy something? <laughs> so, okay, I'm just going to slide this ribbon off. I am so excited, you guys. <sighs> so it's in this net a porte box. Net a porte. Ooh. YSL, a box within a box within a box. <laughs> and it's got the, it's lined with the tissue paper. I'm telling you guys, when I ever get things like this, it makes me even more angry with Louis Vuitton because they just throw their bags on a dust bag and then just like throw it in a potato sack and send it your way. All right, so here it is. And it's not a handbag, technically. You know what I've been telling you guys that I want to add to my collection, things that I need? Well, this is one of those things that I need. This is an actual need. And it's in the dust bag. And, oh yes, 
Bam! <gasps> oh, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Mm, I just have to look at it. It's got that beautiful leather, scratch resistant leather. Look at that. Oh, that gold logo. Oh my gosh. Okay, so ever since the first time I ever saw this, I wanted it. And I thought, but I'm not going to get it because there, it, there's no strap. There's no handle. And I love pouches. You guys know I love pouches. But I love pouches um, that have a handle. And there is no handle. But you know what? I have wanted it so long, I just finally, I couldn't deal with it anymore. And I just had to have it. So I thought, I'm, you know, it's just so elegant. And I just need something like this for an evening out. Not that I go anywhere. Well, sometimes I go places, but I used to be a nurse, so it's okay, right, Autumn? <laughs> oh, but anyway, I love this so much, and I was like, right away when I saw it, oh my gosh, it's just beautiful. And it comes in other colors. It comes in a beautiful cream color. I'm going to try my best not to get a second one, really. Uh, but I really am glad that I chose the black because when I get dressed up and go somewhere, I tend to wear black. And this would be perfect, uh, like if we went to the theater, like we used to go. We used to go to plays. We used to go to concerts. Those were the days. But I just wanted to add it to my collection because really, my collection, I don't really have evening bags. And, you know, I've had so many people say to me, I can't believe that you don't have evening bags. Like, I literally would use my Louis Vuitton favorite as an evening bag. <laughs> But I'm really happy to have this. Oh, and I've used my uh, Louis Vuitton Toiletry 26 as an evening bag. But this is elegant. It's classy. It's very flat. And it has the magnetic closure here. Now, it's not super strong, but it's strong enough. I'm going to put my phone inside of it. And I can see I turned my ringer off. I've been getting text messages from Autumn and Weenie. If you guys watched my Halloween video, you'll see what I have to deal with on a daily basis. Okay, so I put my phone in there. So all I would really carry if we were going out is my phone, a card case, and a lipstick or a mirror. And let me grab it out of my bag and show you. Okay, so I don't have a lipstick up here, um, but we'll just improvise. We'll improvise. So my phone fits in there just fine. It's the iPhone 10, and I would use something like my YSL card case. It's nice and flat. You know, stick a mask in there and like a lipstick, and bam. And look at that. It's perfect. You know, if I wanted to put um, a little small mirror or just a small set of keys, and I've been thinking about getting uh, a couple extra, an extra key ring, not the six ring, and having some more keys made, something small, so I don't have to take it off that whole contraption. And, um, but yeah, I mean, it looks like it would hold quite a few things. Let me put another compact inside of it. Okay, so absolutely, you could put a lipstick in there. Here's a, a, here's a compact with a little mirror on it that fits in there and there's no stress. And I know it's a super flat pouch, but I watched quite a few videos on it and everybody that has uh, talked about this, they've talked about that it holds more than you would think. And even though it's super flat like that, like an envelope, it really does hold quite a bit of stuff. I mean, the magnetic closure is strong enough. I would say it's stronger than the Louis Vuitton Favorite. That one's really weak. Well, this one's a little bit stronger. Not a lot, but a little bit. So I'm going to take this out and put this larger mirror inside and see if that fits. It does. So, I mean, definitely you could carry a mirror or a compact, a mask, a thin card case, and your phone. So, you know, and if you had a small set of keys that would go in there. I mean, it holds everything you would need for a night out. So I'm so happy to have this. It's so beautiful. Oh, I'm gonna try not to get the other one. <laughs> I just love it. Oh, and I saw a video, I can't remember who it was. She's not one of my regular 
YouTubers that I watch, but she had a chain, kind of a flat gold chain, and she just opened it up and put the chain here. And she said sometimes she wears it as a shoulder bag. I don't think I'm ever going to do that, but it looked pretty. You could do it. I don't think I would. I love it just the way it is. I'm so happy to have it. So this is my beautiful YSL Uptown pouch, and I know they've been pretty popular. I think because the price point is under $500, not a bad price point for a YSL clutch. So I'm happy to have it and whew, so, so pretty. <sighs> Dear God, if it's possible for me to ever get through one filming without Autumn Bateman and Winnie texting me, please let it happen. It would be a miracle. Okay, I'll just answer that later. Okay, so, yay! <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, I love my desk. I love the L shape, because I can just whirl around and whirl back around. Oh, it's so nice to have such a nice place to film. This is from Walmart. You're gonna be a little surprised what I got, but you guys, I couldn't help myself. Again, it was a late night shopping thing. It just it just happened. Okay, I love this brand. Are you guys familiar with this brand from Walmart? It is a Walmart brand called Scoop. And I have some overalls from that brand. And I think I have a couple tops. I don't have a lot, but everything that I've ever gotten from that brand, I've really, really liked it. And you can't get this brand or at like I, it's not at my local Walmart, it's online. So I don't know, like if you're in a bigger city, if you could get it, but anyway. Okay, so it's wrapped, it's got the scoop paper, like this, it says scoop on it. It's wrapped nicely. I saw these and they had great reviews and you guys, oh yes, look at that. I don't have any snakeskin boots. Now I know that I always say that snakeskin kind of, you know, it kind of uh, scares me a little, <laughs> but they're so pretty. Look at those. And you guys know I have like a thing about booties. I think I showed you my closet at the end of the video. I'll do a quick run over of my booty collection, but I didn't have anything like this. They're not terribly expensive. It's the Scoop brand. I went with a size eight. I normally wear a seven and a half and size eight, but I thought I'll go with an eight because I wanna wear like a little footy or something. But oh my gosh, they're, they're just like the mocha brown and tan and a lighter color brown. <gasps> they're just so pretty. I love the way they zip and they have this little pull here. So I'm super excited about these. Oh my gosh. And they had other colors to choose from. I think they even had a solid black pair, but I just thought these were so pretty. And this is something that I will have. This is something that will never go out of style. You know, snake skin and animal print, it's, it's actually a real classic. And even when I was much younger, I was always looking for cheetah print. And back in the day, now this one is a little bent right here, but I think it'll be okay. Back in the day, I was always looking for cheetah print before you could even find it. Now you can find it everywhere. Um, I've always loved animal prints and uh, oh, the inside of them, I'm feeling them. They're very cushy. They feel like a pillow. They feel like they're gonna be really comfortable. Now this one, I think it was just a little bent in the box, but after I wear it, it'll push it out. You can't really tell. <gasps> Bam! I love them. Oh my gosh, so pretty. I can't wait to style them. I'll have to uh, style them. And you guys need to follow me on Instagram because when I have an outfit of the day, <laughs> that's where you'll find my outfits of the day. Normally, I'm cover covered in paint and paint clothes, but when I do in the rare occasion that I get ready, I'll definitely be wearing these. They're so pretty. And what I really like about them is they don't have that scaly. I mean, it looks like scales, but they're soft. Like there's no scaly. I don't have to worry about anything peeling up. 
So they're really soft on the inside and they're soft on the outside. So pretty, love them. Okay, this is the final item and I'm dying to see them. They have great reviews. And again, they are boots by Scoop. All right, let me get rid of this giant box. <laughs> really, if you guys are not familiar with this brand, you have to check it out. All right, so this particular um, boot is just a suede black, oops. So, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. How many times am I gonna say that? They're kind of stuck together. Okay. Hmm. You know what, Autumn Beckman? Autumn Beckman, you could really use a pair of boots like this. <laughs> but I just saw these and thought, you know, last year I did. I, there were so many times I wanted to wear my Stuart Weitzman boots. And that's the thing. Sometimes with things that are really expensive, it's like you have it, but you won't wear it. Because here in Alabama, especially North Alabama, you never know how the weather is going to be. But these I thought would be my more casual over the knee boots and I like to wear boots like this with dresses because your legs are warm and I don't know they just looked really pretty and I think that's a good heel height it's not too high not too high well it's kind of high I used to wear heels every day uh, when I started dating Keith he was like don't you have any flat shoes and I literally did not accept nursing shoes because I used to be a nurse <laughs> but you know, I think boots like this is that this is really a good comfortable um, height, heel height for me. So again, these are my boots and you know, to be in style, you don't have to spend tons of money. You can get items like this and you know, the reviews were just fantastic on these boots. So I've got more boots to add to my boot collection. I'm so excited. All right, so I'm super excited about this. I'm, I hope that I'll be able to take it somewhere. <laughs> Maybe we'll go to church during Christmas. Oh. So I know that YSL, they made a bag with this pouch on the front of it. I can't remember what the name of it was, but YSL and Gucci, I think are two of my favorite brands. I've always, been a Louis girl, but you guys, I'm just not a Louis girl anymore. I mean, other than just a few items from Louis Vuitton, I'm just over them. I mean, I have been disappointed way too many times. Okay, that's not what this video is about. Let's not get on a rant. Let's not go there. <laughs> but I'm so excited to show this to you guys. So hopefully I have somewhere to take it. Surely I will. I don't know where, but I'm just so happy and I will have it when I need it. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all of your support this year and I love you guys and I'll see you guys again next week. Bye bye. Okay, so here's my booty collection. I've got some kind of western style boots up there and I have some, those red ones there are Stuart Weitzman and then these are some really cool boots that I got in Iceland. And then I have some cheetah print, Tory Burch. I've got some Sam Edelman, more Tory Burch. There's my new scoop boots. That's where usually my Doc Martens go, but they're downstairs. I've got some Fry. I don't know, some other brands. Tom's. I just love these, you guys. There's my Uggs, Sorrel. And those are the fur of Michael Coors. So there's my booty collection.